वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट इफ यू आर स्टडिंग सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल द एंड टू नो अबाउट हाउ टू रीड स्ट्रक्चरल ड्राइंग फॉर एनी प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो फॉर यू पीपल गाइज यू कैन सी दिस इज कॉलम सी डिटेल सी वन डिटेल एंड दिस इज कॉलम सी वन ए डिटेल दिस वन इज कॉलम टू सी टू दिस वन C3 detail and this is the project guys you can see the columns okay and the uh, dimensions between two column etc if you see guys column C1 C1a C C2 C3 and these are at sizes 18 by 24 18 by 24 18 by 18 and 15 by 15 so if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free so now let me guide you if you have this kind of drawing okay so let me guide you for c2 detail okay so guys if you see here this is look at here this is c2 detail look at here this is c2 c2 and this is also c2 the span between c2 column is 21 ft and 6 in so let me guide you for its size and its details okay so this is c2 so let me check here where is c2 details okay so this is c3 detail okay and this one is c2 detail guys you can see so i will guide you for this c2 where the c2 detail the dimensions i already discussed 21 ft and 6 inches c2 from one c2 to other c2 guys you can see these are also c2 details look at here these are c2 so if you can see anywhere c2 details so the size of c2 should be 18 by 18 inches guys you can see or you can also check here c2 the size is 18 by 18 inches okay so watch this video till the end to guide you properly for this so here guys we have section d and section c where is section d and where is section c okay so guys if you see this is section d where you can follow this one this is section c which you can follow this one so what is the size of the column here remember guys the size of the column is 18 by 18 inches or 1.5 ft by 1.5 ft and guys you can see we have eight numbers of steel rods you can see clearly eight numbers of steel rods that i as 3 by 4 at the rate or uh, you can say diameter bars okay it means this is 16 mm bar Eight numbers. Dia is eighteen millimeter. Okay, so we have eight numbers of steel rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers. Okay, you can also see the length tie. Look here, especially for ties. So the dia of ties are here three by eight. Okay, so what is three by eight? Three by eight means this is guys here. Three by eight means. we required 10 mm diameter with the spacing of 4 inches but this is section c where section c c details guys you can see here this is the spacing here 4 inches in section c okay guys also here you can see clearly so let me show you now section d where is this place you can see inside the, these are lapping okay for lapping steel reinforcement guys you can see which is called lap splice okay look at here and the total height from the first floor to the roof is 11 ft and 6 in and 6 in is the depth or the thickness of the slab okay guys you can see clearly next guys you can see this is 18 by 18 in same section same size okay but you can see the steel reinforcement etc and hooks are bent on 135 degree hooks length should not be less than 3 inches so this is column c2 details okay column c2 if you see this one section guys you can see you will find the same thing here but this is column c2 details okay look at here this is plinth beam okay in next video i will guide you for plinth beam from the ground level to the first floor the height is 11 ft and 6 inches this is d place okay the d section you can uh, use this one okay for this section you can use this one uh, section okay this is a long section you can say uh, from the height you can find it okay and this is the other section you can find which here okay the spacing etc 
so guys this is c2 details which i have discussed okay now let me guide you for c1 so find c1 column one okay so this is c1 guys this one and this is c1 these all are c1 column where the span between two column is 10 feet look here these are its details you can find the c1 we can't you can't see the c1 here okay these are c2 and c3 and this is c1 so the c1 span between two column is here 10 feet so now let me discuss the uh, this is c3 column three details uh, already we discussed c2 now let me find c1 okay this is guys c1 which size is okay so c1 size you can also see here okay this is c1 which is 18 by 24 inches this is c1 detail the size especially so guys if you see the size of c1 is 18 by 18 uh, 18 by 24 inches okay so 1.5 feet by 1 feet 6 inches by 2 feet so this is section a this is section b so guys you can see this is lapping length where, where we have this is section b so for that you can uh, discuss this one and this is section a for section a you can discuss this one okay for this place same guys you can see b section and a section column c one detail column c one detail you can see and concrete cover is our clear cover is 1.5 inch you can see clearly as i discussed before if you need house planning structural bank so you can contact me on this whatsapp okay so guys you can see from the first floor to the height of the roof which is here uh, the total is 11 feet and 6 inches but from the first floor to the half roof is 5 feet look at here guys so here guys you can see the size is 18 by 24 inches you can see guys we have 12 numbers of steel rods total we have 12 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so guys you can see length ties look at here length ties you can find from these hooks 1 2 3 okay so three lengths we have okay one is main two are other okay so you can see its diameter the diameter is 10 millimeter or 3 by 8 diameter with the spacing of at the rate 4 inches center to center okay you can see these are the details 3 by 4 means 16 millimeter next guys you can see here uh, this is the section for a the spacing is 4 inches center to center you can also find here next this is b section so this is the lapping splice length so for the splice length guys you can see inside uh, we already connected the hollow circles you can see it, it can show you the lapping okay so same diameter you can see where we have 12 numbers of steel rods 16 millimeter 3 by 4 diameter of bar and the stirrup uh, the lateral tie dia is 3 by 8 or 3 suter so where the spacing is four inches okay same for its section a and section b same uh, spacing we have guys you can okay length ties you can see the hook should be bent on 135 degree and the hook's length should not be less than three inches and guys you can see this is 135 degree okay and it should not be less than three inches and the hook should be bent on 135 degree so if you need c2 or uh, C1, C3, guys, so this one you can see this is C3, okay, the same details where we have the uh, size 15 by 15 inches, 8 numbers of, uh, 8 numbers uh, bars, okay, uh, total we have 8 numbers of steel reinforcement, the die is 16 millimeters, so they already used 16 millimeter in each column, but only the size is 16 by 24 inches, 15 by 15 inches, and the other one is 18 by 18 inches, let me check it, okay, 18 by 18 inches. So thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.